my channel my name is Kayla Jones for those of you who don't know and today I'm coming to you guys with a makeup haul I purchased some items from Ulta and I also placed an order on Colourpop it's not too many items this is only going to be part one these are just some items that I got before my birthday but I got so many birthday coupons that I plan on using so there will definitely be a part two and yeah without further ado let's just get right on into the makeup haul i'm gonna start off with the products that i got from ulta i don't have that many products the first thing that i got i already used so it's really gross and dirty but it's the real techniques beauty sponge i just used it today to do my makeup because i washed all of my makeup brushes last night and none of them were dry this morning so everything all my face so do not come for me in the comments on my makeup i did with this beauty sponge and my hands like literally I should have freaking filmed a do it with your fingers makeup tutorial whatever it's called because that's what I did. So I got this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and this was $5.99 I believe. I have my receipt right here. Yes, $5.99. The next product that I got is from Soap and Glory and it is the Sexy Mother Pucker XL Gloss and these are all open because I tried to film a first impressions and yeah it did not turn out as planned if you guys still want to see me trying to use these products then just give this video a thumbs up because it was I don't want to say a complete fail but it was just some trials and tribulations I'm I'm just gonna put it out there so anyways this is the soap and glory sexy mother pucker XL gloss this is a lip plumping gloss so this is what it looks like and it's just a clear gloss that's supposed to plump your lips and make them look more full I actually did already try this and I like it so far I feel like it does do what it says however if you're looking right now I only have on my Rihanna lip gloss and my lips are pretty full already so it's not like a tremendous thing for me but it is nice so if you do want fuller lips, I would actually recommend this. The next thing that I got is from Physicians Formula. And I know, this is crazy. I never thought in a million years that I would buy anything from Physicians Formula. I just feel like they really don't cater to women of color. There's not really anything for us. But when I seen this online, I was just like eyeing this for the longest time. And it was on sale. I actually, oh, the Sexy Mother Pucker. Oh gee, I'm so bad. The Sexy Mother Pucker is usually $14.99, but I got this on sale for $8.99, so yes. So like I was saying, this was on sale, so I figured why not give it a try. And it's the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster, and it is in the shade Medium Dark. So it is in Medium Dark, and this is what it looks like in the packaging. Let me take it out of the packaging really quick so I can show you guys. This is what it looks like, and I was really excited when I seen this because... So many people rave about that butter bronzer and I'm like oh my god like I could never try that because it would never work for me so when I seen this I was like OMG they finally made a bronzer for women of color I have to try it and I know this isn't like new or anything like I said I've been eyeing this for a minute like it's been a long time I've just been so like skeptical because it is a little bit pricey it's $14.99 originally but it was on sale for $8.99 so I was like you know what why not give it a go and let me swatch it for you guys because this is where it gets confusing like I don't know it's not a bronzer like it could probably be a little bit of like a highlighter but a bronzer mm. I don't know I don't think this is gonna work for me so I'm a little bit disappointed in this but like I said if you guys want me to try all these products I will try them and and see the next product that I have is from the brand I believe you pronounce it number seven I don't know but this is also something that I've been wanting to try for a long time but I was just skeptical because the shade range isn't that huge but I've just heard so many people like talk about this foundation and it is the number 7 Stay Perfect Foundation. It's supposed to be for all skin types, a medium coverage foundation. And I got it in the shade Hazelnut 
and looking at it now I'm just like mm, this looks like it's gonna be way too dark for me we are coming into fall now and my tan has gone away a little bit and I'm starting to go back to my natural skin shade um so I don't know this might be just a tad bit too dark but it was also on sale this is originally $15.99 but I got it for $9.99 so yeah I'm just really excited to try this and hopefully it works out good the next product that I got is from NYX and it is the in your element fire palette when I seen this on Instagram I like fell in love I thought the shades were so beautiful in this palette this is what it looks like let me open it up for you I just thought the shades were so beautiful and warm like look at look at this and the swatches were amazing I also swatched it in the store let me do some I'm just gonna swatch some of like the bolder colors so that's the orange that was a little patchy that's the red and that's the blue. My swatches are bad guys, I'm sorry. That's what they look like. I thought this palette was just so pretty, but this was actually, I did have a little bit of complications with this palette when I tried to film the first impressions for you guys. So yeah, I can't really give you guys like my final, final thoughts on this. I do want to play with this a little bit more. You guys do know I do my makeup haul updates where I let you guys know what worked for me and what didn't work for me. So definitely look out for that with this one because yeah, I'm still playing with this and trying to you know really get used to it but this retails for $29.99 and I got it on sale for $20.99 the next product that I got is also from NYX this is something that I've also been wanting for a little bit of a while now something that I've been eyeing but just never picked up and it is the NYX blending brush I don't know I just get really skeptical trying like br makeup brushes just from anybody I don't know because makeup brushes fall apart and they can sometimes be a waste of money. I don't know, I don't like spending a lot of money on makeup brushes. This retails for $9.99, but I got it for $4.99, so yeah. Move on to the items that I got from ColourPop. The first thing that I got is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. This is what the packaging looks like. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I was able to try this when I tried to do the first impressions as well and at first I really wasn't feeling it but I do actually like this so far of course I have to play with it a little bit longer to see also the spoolie is just really small so I was just kind of confused with that I don't know I just wasn't really expecting it to look like that when I took it out and this was six dollars by the way the next thing that I got are some ColourPop concealers these are the ColourPop concealers I got three of them like I said I got three different shades so these are the shades that I got Honestly, these looked way um, darker online than in person, these two light shades, so I am a little bit skeptical. So let's go ahead and swatch them, especially this one. So this is the shade Golden 40, and I'm like, girl, I thought this was going to be my highlighter shade, and this was going to be like my skin tone, and I'm like, I mean, maybe, but I don't know. I like the applicator on this, how it's like flat on both sides I think that looks really cool yeah I don't know that looks a little light so that's golden 40 I don't know about that and this is tan 50 this is a shade that I thought was going to be my skin tone so once you put it on it definitely looks a little bit darker but that's still not my skin tone this looks more like it would be like my highlighter shade, but I can probably mix the two. It's not the end of the world. Last but not least, I got the shade Rich 75. This, of course, was to contour with, and this is the deepest shade. And just in case I didn't I already mention, these are $6. So that's Rich 75, also the deepest shade. So, I don't know. I think they have a really nice shade range. I personally just didn't know what I was doing, so... Um, I'm definitely going to go back on the website and get some more shades of this, but I like the consistency so far. I like how creamy and thick that they are. Also, it looks like you get a pretty decent amount of product in here, so I'm definitely excited to play with these. And ColourPop rarely ever lets me down, so I'm definitely excited about these. Last but not least, I got one of their bronzers. This is the ColourPop Pressed Powder Bronzer. And this is in the shade Bits and Pieces. This is also 
the darkest shade and you can get it as a single pan or you can get it in this little compact I wanted to get it in the compact because it has a really nice like full-size mirror and you can see right here and this is the shade bits and pieces it really reminded me of the shade maui nights i believe or maui something like that the becca bronzer it has like this reddish brown undertone to it i like how it feels it's pretty like buttery i really like this i think this would look extremely beautiful on women of a deeper skin tone as well like oh i cannot wait this is this is this is going to be good. That's all for my Ulta and ColourPop haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see me trying all of these products. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you guys are notified when I upload new videos. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!